modern and toned down are phrases that frequent the design world. But interior designer Kirsten Lloyd did it with a splash of personality, making this Johannesburg home breathable and dynamic. So before we started, there was no particular style or theme that the house had. So I really wanted to bring in the client's personality. They're very quirky. She's very feminine as well. So we wanted to bring in a feminine element to the house with lots of quirky elements and a bit of an eclectic kind of flair. I think the elements that best describe the house or show the feeling of the house is in the kitchen. We brought in feminine elements with the curves of the, the scallop tile on the backsplash as well as bringing in some soft elements of fringe in the pendants over the, the island. The light fixtures are my favourite part of the kitchen I think because who doesn't love some fringe? We also decluttered the space with the open shelving. The colours, palettes, we brightened up a lot to tone down the warmer colours throughout the house. We updated the very dark cherry wood cabinets and outdated granite tops. We brought in light cabinetry, light countertops. To complement the big and bold personality of this home, as well as to create a sense of cohesion, touches of ochre and mustard were brought in. So in the dining room, that is our most eclectic space within the, the home. Before the renovation, we had already done a lot of work with the client of reupholstering her furniture. She's a person that loves antiques and wanted to display them better than what she had them in the house before. So with the new orientation of the dining room, we were able to display her antique cabinet that we've got painted or well, the client painted it herself on my recommendation. Also a few like elements to soften it. The client really likes macrame, brought in the nice big macrame piece. Again, to keep with the eclectic feel of the house, we went with the crocheted fixtures. And actually those were the hardest ones to choose because I had a very clear vision for the kitchen and I had a very clear vision for the lounge. But then to find a pendant that tied the two together was actually quite challenging. Then in the lounge, we didn't do much. We just changed a bit of the furniture layout so that it felt less cluttered. Throughout the space as well, which I think makes the biggest difference, is we added in a full ceiling so that we could add better lighting in the space. With each room, there was only one light point. So now the client has an option of functional lighting or decorative lighting. And then the flooring as well, I think makes a huge difference to warming the space up. We went with a herringbone style tile. Only the big piece of artwork in the lounge we chose for the clients. I had to actually convince her of it because she felt it was too big and black, but um, I felt the space needed something a little bit darker to ground it. Speaking of grounding, the master bathroom in this home teaches us a thing or two about the balancing act. In the master bathroom, the brief was pink and a big round bath. So there was no working around it. We had to give the client what she wanted. So then in that space, we balanced out the femininity of the pink with masculine black fittings. Still to make it practical, we have an overhead shower over the big round bath. And then the wallpaper as well, just to add, again, some interest other than just the pink tile. I think to choose the right wallpaper, you need to decide what you want the feature to be in your house. Whether you want the wallpaper to be the feature, then start there. So choose something that you love and then work from there. If you want the wallpaper just to be an added touch of interest, make sure it complements the, the space. What sets this home apart and makes it really unique, I think, is the quirkiness of it. The fact that I was given free reign from my clients and really trusted to bring in a lot of color, bring in a lot of personality and bold statement pieces as well. I think that a lot of people would shy away from the impracticality of a big bath, whereas it actually works really well in the space and is practical for the family and how they use it. The use of statement pieces throughout this home create a vibrant and personalized look, making the home unique and inviting. 